Um, now let's work on this pen really quickly here. I got my bag of clips and let me get a, a little copper clip. Okay, I'll need that. And then I'm going to grab my pen. I have some stuff over here that I am just losing. All right, I literally lost the ink pen. I'm like, I just had it, but I forgot that I purchased a few of these. So, and it matches perfectly because it's the copper. It matches copper, matches copper. So, this is what I'm going to use. I can't believe it. And I literally, I just spent like eight minutes looking around this whole space. I'm like, I hope I didn't dump it in the trash with the rest of the stuff, but. Oh well, it looks like this. It had a floral pattern on it. That's better anyway because I'm using a floral pattern for this. So it was meant to be. Anyway, um, I'm going to add some double sided tape to this small binder clip. I'm going to add it to the front. Make sure that gets on there very well. And I'm going to flip it over and add it to the back. Just like that. Okay, and then I'm going to take it off. If you want it to be more secure, you can add like E6000. Um, hot glue won't work. It'll peel right off after it gets cold. All right, but this works fine. I use it every time I do one. This is what I do. Or you can make a paper one if you don't have a binder clip. Just fold over a piece of paper and wrap your pen around it and call it a day all right so what we need to do is add the elastic just like so make sure that's on there and then put the pin on where you want it to be and pull that tight taut and put the elastic on there to be a little straighter so I'll put it that way and then cut off the extra and I'm just going to make sure that that tape is on that elastic so now you can put your clip on your book and then you can stick if your pen doesn't have a clip and you can stick your elastic in here. I mean, you can stick your pin in the elastic. Just like that. This won't be up here, obviously. It'll be in the back, but that's how that would work. So that's done. And the only thing left now is to make the cover. So we're going to take... Well, we have a couple other things that we need to do after the cover is made, but... We need to make a cover first to do those things. All right, so what I like to do is one, turn back on your laminator. Two, I like to grab a scratch sheet of paper. And like I said, all of these notebooks will not be the same. So there's no, I mean, I could tell you the measurement of what I did for this one. And then you'd be like, okay, but you have to have known that you have the same amount of sequence you have the same amount of post-it notes it's the same thickness the same you know thickness is what you would need to to do in order to get this measurement I'm not a measurer I'm just gonna do it this way so in order to avoid wasting paper and I got my note two notebooks my calendar my folder and my shaker and my bookmarks and that's I'm gonna make sure I cover everything. All right. And I'm just gonna mark it with a pen or pencil where it is. Okay, that's where I stopped. Trim that off. And then I got to measure. So that's 
that's going to be there. And then I'm going to measure the bottom. I mean, the, um, the length, which we know is six and three quarters, but we can cut this down to seven. And I think we should be safe with that. It's a little extra step to do it this way, but you're guaranteed a perfect fit for what you have. So this is what we have. This is how our book will be. So I do that with a sample sheet of paper, then I'm going to measure it and it comes out to nine and a quarter by seven. So, I'm going to get a thicker piece of paper and cut that out to nine and a quarter by seven. All right. I'm not going to mold that this time because that's, we already did that. So, this is still the test paper now. I'm going to fold it in half and just kind of tip this part, just not a whole lot. Okay. And then I want to score it pick any pick, pick anywhere. Jeez, I sound like Porky Pig. Pick, 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 pick anywhere. Um, <laughs> pick anywhere on the scoreboard. I always start at the six. Wherever your point is, put it on a mark and score. Six and then go. A quarter inch twice on both sides so you have your middle mark and then we're gonna go a quarter inch which would be six and a quarter and then another quarter inch which is six and a half and then go backwards which would be five and three quarters and five and a half now this is not the measurement this is just my placement of where I put my paper but you want to do your middle mark when we did it like this get your middle mark and then go over half a quarter inch and then over that a quarter inch and then on the right side over a quarter inch and then over that a quarter inch so you should end up with five score marks but four quarter inch lines all right this is the tester still I don't want to mess up no paper because you don't get enough in your kit <laughs> to be doing a trial and error so I'm going to fold over all of my edges I mean all of my score marks And like I said, I'd rather be safe than sorry. So I'm going to put this back in here. Make sure it fits. And it does. Perfect fit. You can always do it bigger if you want more, but this is what that is. Okay. And then now um, we, can, we can go ahead. This is our mark. Now, if you want to be super secure, you can put your holes in, do it that way, but... I'm not going to do that. You take your, um, I take my small, in, the smaller version of it, and I just do right at the edge, honestly, because this filler, the insides are, it's only giving us a little bit at the top and a little bit at the bottom. So we don't want to go like dead set deep in there. So just want to do a little bit at the bottom, and I'll show you. I'll show you what I'm doing. I'll show you where I put it at. I just go up about a as about an eighth of an inch from the bottom we're going to laminate that and that's going to be secure so that's how i do it and you want to punch in the middle of all these holes so it should be four holes and you kind of want to line it up with the one right before it so it can be even just like that don't do this before you laminate though i'm just showing you so that's like that and you want to flip it over and you would do the same thing and then you punch a hole in the middle but don't do anything just this is what I'm just showing you okay now if you're ready to start you're comfortable now you can start with the cover so follow these directions so our paper was I already forgot just that quick was it nine and a quarter by seven I got to remeasure 
nine and a quarter by seven. Yes. So all we're doing right now is cutting our cover to nine and a quarter by seven. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Nine and a quarter by seven. Okay. We have our paper cut nine and a quarter by seven. Now we want to get our laminating sheet and we need to laminate this. Hopefully you turned your laminator on so it doesn't stop your creative flow, <coughs> excuse me, while you're waiting for it to heat up. So we wanna stick our paper in here, butt that up against the edge. Great, and then we wanna go ahead and laminate this. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be back. All right, so now I'm back. I have laminated this and I ran it through twice. It's really, really, I love this shine. So nice, I love it. So now we're just gonna cut off the extra. Remembering there's a little bubble around the edge, so always leave just a little bit of a gap, like a quarter inch or so. Okay, and then do this bottom part or side. Okay. So this is what you should have left of your cover. If you don't like, you know, this is a little bit less than that, you can cut off a little bit more. I'm just going to cut off a thin sliver piece to kind of match up with the one on the left side there. Okay. So you want to get your score tool out, <clears throat> the scoreboard. And since this is the cover, I'm going to flip it over to the back. Again, you want to lightly meet your edges with just the paper edges, okay? Not the laminated edges, just your paper edges. Because if you didn't laminate that evenly, you're going to be off. So do a little tip to find the center. I'm going to line it up with this. Just do a little tip because you don't want to do it too much. And then do the same thing that we practice with. You're going to have to press a few times, not too hard, because you can puncture through and kind of tear this laminate laminate. You want to do the same thing that we practice with the quarter inch. So align it up with, you know, the center up with a fold number to make it easier. I line mine's up at six. It's right in the middle and I have room on both sides. So you want to score at a quarter inch twice to the left and a quarter inch twice to the right. So if you're lining your center piece up with six, you want to do six and a quarter, six and a half, and then go backwards, five and three quarters, five and a half. And you should have your marks. Okay. <clears throat> now you want to punch your holes, just like we discussed at the bottom of the paper. If you need to, grab your template and do it that way too, if it's easier for you. This crocodile also has marks at the bottom that you can follow so you can know where you, you did it. So if you punch a hole here, see where you marked it? From the, I use the bottom of my paper, not the bottom of the laminate. So the bottom of my paper is saying that it is three teeth from the edge. And that's what I, you know, I go in one, two, three, punch a hole, and do the same thing. I'll show you guys that in a second. That way it's even on both sides. All right, so those are my holes, right in the center of those spaces. Okay, and then I'm gonna get my big bite, and I'm just gonna punch, I'm gonna use the still the small end, I'm going to punch a hole in the center. So there's one, two, three, four. Just punch it. I mean, there's five lines on the middle line, the third line of wherever you want your band to be. So I just kind of try my best to center it. I'll just punch a little hole there. 
All right, and then now I'm going to turn off my laminator, number one, and then I'm gonna get all these score marks in check here. Oh, this paper is so pretty now that it's all shiny. I mean, it's cute before, but it looks even better with a nice gloss on it. Okay, and this last one. All right, that's that. I got them all scored out here. And before I start threading, I'm going to go back. I told you I measured just a bunch of times. I mean, not measure, but fit. Ah, get back in there. There we go. These are the bookmarks. Look how cute that is. All right. Now it's time to add the elastic. I have not yet mastered the amount of elastic that I use, but I kind of just pull off a good length and cut to be honest so if you think of a different way do that so I pull off enough and I pull off about here I'll see I'll measure it it's about five feet probably don't even need that much but that's how much I pulled off and then whatever else I have left over I can use it for the band if I have you know too much so there's one two three four holes on the and this is towards me going this way on the second hole from the top you're going to put your band in your elastic in and hold it just like that and i learned this method from <clears throat> louisa who was ksp by louisa so that's who i got this from and then with this uh, bottom half and this has been cut let me cut a little piece off so it can be a nice edge with the bottom half you're going to bring it to the hole in front of it so the third hole pull it through still hold this okay let me see and then you're going to follow this same line to so you're on one two three hole over here you're going to follow it to one through uh, the third hole and pull that through over top see over top and then from the bottom, you're going to come back up and go through the first hole. Thank you. Thread in the shoe. Well, not really. But that's coming from the bottom. You can let that elastic go now. It should be secure by now. And then you're going to go match it to the opposite side and match it up over top with the first hole. All right. Pull taut, not tight because then your thing will start bending and that's not cute okay so I like to hold it whenever I'm done so now we're at the top hole right we just pulled this elastic through go back through the hole before so you have to squeeze it in with the previous hole so I'm holding this down with one so it can stay taut and then I'm me sharpen this edge a little bit because it kind of gets fuzzy when you pull it I just cut it off so I'm squeezing, I'm holding that down so it can pull it, you know, it can pull um, taut. And I'm going to squeeze this through that hole right before it to come up. All right. You may have to pull this elastic a bit to get it in there. Okay, it's in there. And I'm going to pull it up through there. You know regain your composure by pulling it you're going to follow this same line and push it through this hole but you're going to go on the opposite side of the band so pull that over and push that through that hole and bring it in bring it to the bottom pull it a little tight not too tight you don't want to bend the elastic i mean the laminate all right now you're going to come back up through the second hole that's on the left after I clean up this edge a little bit. All right. Come back up to the second hole. Pull it up from the bottom. And then you're going to 
follow that down squeeze it into the that same line but go on the opposite side so because we're heading that direction squeeze it through this hole let me turn it around so I can squeeze it through all right okay this is still that long piece we had earlier all right so now we're gonna go up to the first hole and then follow that line and go up to this first hole and then the last one is go back up to the second hole from the top and squeeze it through oh, I gotta clean the edge it's hard to do this when I cannot see all right squeeze that through all right make sure everything is you know nice and taut now you're going to it should be a second hole you should be at the second hole on the left with the end and then the second hole on the right okay and then you want to tie these together in a knot not a super tight knot you just want it to secure it I mean don't pull it like stretch your elastic all right I'm gonna cut off just a little bit I'm gonna leave that on there for now in case I need to like untighten that and adjust later so this is what you should have you should have one two three four at the bottom one two three four at the top okay and look I guess my measurement was right we can pull this through I'm gonna clean off this edge um, and push it through the inside now if you want to put anything uh, through the middle hole if you want to put anything like a, a charm or something or some dangles like I did mine this one before you secure it you pull your pull your um, charms in there through the pull your beads through the um, thread them through before you thread them through the hole you guys get it so I think I'm gonna use this but this is a clasp so I can just clasp it on I don't have to worry about threading anything through before I do that so fold up this piece and put it right here in the middle and push it push it through this hole and I'm just gonna tie a loose knot because we don't know just a loose one just like that we don't know how if this is enough or if this is too much so until we put our stuff in here all right so we have two things to come back to later so we're gonna put our well you put whatever you want where you want it but I'm gonna load my shaker in the front put that on there and then the next thing I'm gonna do is my calendar find the middle thread it through the second string just like that the next thing is my um, folder there and we have three left so you do have room to make another folder or whatever that you want to put in there add another sheet I skip that one and I go to the next one and put in my first composition book and then you can even put another composition book in there and then my last composition book ha 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 yes so let's put in you know these page markers and then also we want to do so now let's go back in here and cut off that one that we tied which is inside where is it at it's inside of something oh I didn't tie it that's right I skipped it it should be maybe I didn't skip it where is it at there it is let's cut this down so I pull it tight make sure that's in a nice knot and then I cut it down cut off those extra bits and before we um, 
tie that outside. Let's put our stuff in here that we're going to do so we can know how much, how tight we need it. So we know that this won't fit and this won't fit, but this might. And I think that's super cute. Um, so yeah, let's put that there. I'm going to add the double-sided tape to the back. Now again, if you don't have this folder, you can you can make a folder, a library pocket, if you don't have it. There's lots of tutorials on that. Or you can use one of the clear things from the dollar, the uh, Target dollar spot, which I'm going to use in the back to add an extra pocket. Or you can even, maybe I won't do it in the back, maybe I'll do it on my pocket. I mean, not my pocket, my folder. I'll get it together here sooner or later, guys. So that's going to go there. And on the inside, I'm going to put a few of these stickers. Oh, these are so cute. Oh, that's cute. So I'm going to put, that's the same thing. I'm going to put two of these in the pocket. That way the recipient can, you know, add uh, decorations to that if they want. And like I said, you can use, you can put, I'm going to put this in, one in there and I'll put one in this front. You can put the uh, pocket here and decorate it if you like or some kind of decoration there if you want. Um, let's see what we got here. We got some more of these page markers or you can add a tag. I like this bow. That's cute. You can add some of these tags if you want or if you have a tag. Find the beauty in the little things. Planner girl, those are cute. So I'm going to actually add one of these pockets, these adhesive target pockets to the back of here. I'll do it this way. And then I'll add these tags in the back. Don't forget to be awesome. Let's add that one too. And then here, now this is too big to add the pocket. I realized that, so I'm just going to add these cute little bowls on the side. I think those are adorable. And I'm going to add some tape to it. Nope, not going to add that tape because that's not going to work. I'm going to add some red line tape or the other double sided tape would work either one this is smaller so and it's right there add that other one really quick cute just like that that is adorable I love it all right and so we got the page marker we got that oh we got to add our pin our copper pin so I usually add this to the folder. Let's see, where do I want to put it? Yeah, I'm going to add it to the back of the folder and the front of this composition book. Like this. No, oh, this composition, I mean, this folder is pretty heavy. Sturdy, so. I'll add it right there. And put it a little bit out so the gem doesn't jam into the notebook it kind of sits on the outside because that's a tall little gem so that's everything that I want to include oh we need the toppers let's add let's add this gold one it's a really cute color and then you can just put this like anywhere it could be a page marker it could be remember to come back here I'm gonna put it on the folder let it kind of dangle from there lots of little things up here really cute all right so now we need to measure this elastic 
we have a little bit too much. So I'm going to find the center here and pull it. So when I grab it, I'm going to pull it. Oh, that's perfect. It has a little bit of extra give, but it has a nice snap. So I'm going to hold it, and pull it down so I can find out where I am. About right there. So I can tie the knot tighter. So before I really do that really well, I want to pull it and see. Yep. All right. Now I can yank that tight and cut it close to the edge. Oh gosh, this is so cute. So, so cute. All right, that's that. And then now we can hang our charm on here. We can hang it on the side from one of there, from over there, or we can hang it from right here. And it's too long, so I'm gonna shorten this up really quick. I could just pull it through there and tie it on the... I was saying I could have just pulled this ring through the elastic, is what I said before I cut myself off, but that works too. It's so cute. So there we have it, guys. I hope you learned something in these long videos. I know I'm going to have to chop it up because I've been interrupted and it's just long. And yeah, I want to make sure that I thoroughly explained what was going on. So if you have any questions, leave them below. And um, this will be in my Etsy shop because I, I just have one. I have one for myself. <laughs> So I don't need this one. So I'm going to put this in my Etsy shop. You guys saw how it was created. Super cute. It'll come packaged up really nicely. And then let me show you. Um, I have another um, larger. Um, I think it's called B6. Gosh, I can never remember the names. But I have a larger one available um, too that I will be listing in my Etsy shop as well. So I'm going to show that to you. Um, right, I'm going to clean off this mess and show that to you right now. So this is how the other... Um, this is how the Traveler's Notebook will come packaged in this cute little piece of box and with some fun stuff on it and it's wrapped up. Now this belongs to someone else and it's on its, and it's, on its way out the door, but let me open up the one that I still have available. I just want to show you guys how it's packaged. All right, <clears throat> here's the one that's available. Um, let me measure it for you quick so you can see five and a half by seven and a half and that's the cover so I'll tell you how much the journals or just give you the size of the journal so this is what this looks like a super pretty floral paper has this cute little um, laminating piece laminated um, piece in the front you can use it for decoration or a page holder some white elastic has a little um, dangly charm on the side love this paper so this is what it looks on the inside you have a couple little journaling spots in this front pocket and this um, paper clip and look at this says BU I love this shaker look at this shaker and then you get two of these bow um, copper colored bow paper clips they're all in here well, that's, look at this paper. luscious shaker <laughs> so you have post-it notes there and then that's the back okay and then here is the um, calendar and it's for 2018 so there's some time left still and again you can find these at the Dollar Tree um, and here's your page marker with another pocket and a little journaling spot I added some journaling spots to the inside of that this says all beautiful things are wild and free this is your folder look how gorgeous this folder is it's so pretty and then you have paper clipped um, with a little diamond paper clip some extra journaling pieces and then you have a copper um, binder clip with a pen with um, little gems on the inside. And this is your composition notebook, which is five by seven. Cute paper. And this is your second composition notebook with an extra wide copper clothes pen, little journaling, and that's the second one there. So you get two large uh, four by six comp books and then the pen with all the extra little clips and journaling spots here's your page marker your calendar your shaker with your post-its and then you get the bowls 
super cute. I love it. I think it's called a B6. Pretty sure it is. So that's available. And then this is available in the shop. Um, will be available as well. And um, that's it. So if you guys are interested, please leave a comment uh, down below or just check out in Etsy. I will have that link for you available. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. Like the video, guys. Share it. Um, that would be really helpful. So I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.